quickly claiming two of those center containers. Two totes in possession for Spartan Robotics, moving to the center. Engineers doing the same, can't quite disengage though. That's gonna be 20 points for your Red Alliance. Engineers couldn't cross the autonomous line there and get all the way into the auto zone with all three of those totes, so no bonus for the Blue Alliance. Spartans, Spartan Robotics already at the human loader for the Red Alliance, already with a three stack in their possession. Four now, now five for Spartan Robotics. They work quickly. And there's number six, fully contained on that machine. Moving over to the scoring platform. Oh, so gently placing it. In scoring position, six high with a recycling container, litter processed. 42 points if it remains standing by the end of the match. Over on the blue side of the field, four staff. Looks to be in place for the Blue Alliance. There may be a piece of litter under that first gray toad for the Blue Alliance. If so, then that gray toad is not being fully supported by the platform and that stack will not count. We'll get confirmation from the referees at the end of the match if that condition remains. Meanwhile, Spartan Robotics doesn't take long. They got another six stack. It's down, it is good. 42 more potential points for the Red Alliance. Picking up another recycling container is Spartan Robotics starting on stack number three. They've got 30 seconds to get it done. Engineers placing another six high stack for the Blue Alliance. Human players working to slide into the place. 20 seconds now left in the match means they can no longer attempt that over the wall maneuver. Error code zero trying to place a container. They get it onto a stack now. Spartans with their third six high stack. 